This is our 1988 or 89 uh, Ford New Holland LT12 gear driven lawn tractor and it's led along in colorful life but it ran into a little incident so we're going to tear the engine down and see why it seems to be making no compression. Uh, it seems like maybe the conrod is toast so I might get a chance to pull the motor apart and uh, maybe overbore it and uh, get the cylinder back and around but we'll check that all out once we get in there. Alright we'll get the Get the hood detached and then focus in on the motor. As you can see, the muffler is doing a whole lot of nothing. Easy peasy. Keep those in there so they don't mysteriously go missing. All right, so we knew something was up because, uh, well, my wife hit uh, hit a stump with the mower blade, and then uh, mower wouldn't make compression anymore, and uh, I stuck a screwdriver down the. Uh, spark plug hole and spun the motor over and doesn't seem like the piston and crank gray shaft are really connected anymore so I expect that's what we're about to see all right take that muffler off first <laughs> it's not supposed to move when uh... well, it seems like the valves are still running. But... That piston's not doing a whole heck of a lot. Seems like we'll be going deep. Let's 
get the impact socket set. Do I get the puller or do I try to hit it with a hammer? Let's try the hammer first. That's enough. Woo! That had some force. <laughs> Pop the key right out. That doesn't look like that got hammered on too bad. Bend that back up in shape a little bit. Good, isn't it? I've probably gotten far enough into the project to remember to disconnect the battery now. Uh, plug this up and uh, blow things off with some compressed air. Get a little cleaner. So there's only four bolts that hold that motor down, so we'll see. <laughs> no, we'll be smart. We'll drain the oil first. That's what we're gonna do next. Should be able to drain out of that plug bit. Uh, I guess we'll try the drain pan. Maybe we get enough. Yep. Okay. Let's get the plumbing pliers. <laughs> There's some beer in the fridge for you if you want it. Okay. Well, it's looking a little more metallic than I would like it to. We'll see. Now let's crack those bolts off. Do we have nuts underneath? Sure hope not. One. That one definitely does.
You guys are going to remind me to look for that other washer down there, right? That makes four. Just like that. Easy peasy. Well, that's not a good sound. All right, we're burning daylight here, so we'll try to get this autopsy done as soon as possible. Should theoretically be everything. Got some light taps. Okay. Yeah, the question is can you see all the nice sparkly bits in there? So shiny. Delightful. Trouble. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice piece. Another good chunk of connecting rod. Really, uh, very nice. So the governor has almost all of its fins beat right off. So that's great. You're probably take it. Nope. Lobes on the cam actually don't look too bad. Pretty good. No real crazy wear. A little flat on the top, but not too bad. About to hit the whole climactic moment and the battery in the camera dies. Good thing I caught that. So we fished most of what we can out from in here. So we might as well slide the piston. I think the con rod is normally a little bit longer than that. So the question being, how bad is the bore? You guys couldn't even get a good look at what I was talking about. I think you can see down in there, it's hard to really show you just how how decent that is, but it's in pretty good shape. Some light scoring and uh, pretty good lip there, but uh, all in all, not in bad shape. The piston itself is uh, is carboned up, but it's not uh, not too bad. real issues the crankshaft. So I popped the crank out, fell right out, and uh, finding 
more and more lovely little bits of connecting rod. Uh, it fell out of the bottom case. Quite a bit. A whole connecting rod's worth, I'd be willing to guess. So, have a little look at the bearing surfaces here. There's some pretty serious wear in this uh, where the conrod sits, that bearing surface. Definitely some galling and some metal transfer, same as over here on this side of the crank. I can feel that with my thumb. Strangely, top side looks perfectly fine, in great shape. Uh, So, tough call, whether or not to rebuild it, we'll price out some parts. I think it was out to do the new, a new Conrod piston and, uh, new Conrod piston and, uh, the gudgeon in there, uh, would be 70 bucks US plus shipping. Uh, I definitely need a new governor because uh, this fin isn't even complete and the rest of them are missing. Uh, but the question is how much uh, this bearing surface in here has been uh, chewed up in the case. Uh, yeah, doesn't feel very good. I don't know. Might be time to do an electric conversion. That'd be fun. Well, thanks for, uh, you know, hanging out and having some fun, finding out what blew up, and uh, maybe we'll get a good project out of it. Uh, see you later.